You see, the, the deal is, uh, I make breakfast and sometimes lunches, and Bob makes the dinners. You've got to try this. Look at it. <laughs> That's kale and sweet potato, and the mushroom tastes like meat. And the corn, wow. Mm -hmm. Now this is car camping. Yeah. I'm going to saute these sweet potatoes with the mushrooms. Okay, the mushrooms are sliced? They're sliced. And then you saute the mushrooms and the sweet potatoes in a little bit of olive oil? And a little bit of olive oil. And Until the mushrooms are, are tender. And then after the mushrooms are tender, you add... I'll add the kale, but before I add the kale, I'll add a little bit of garlic powder. Also, oh, also, and I'll add some vegetable broth. Also, add a little bit more flavor. And salt and pepper. Does kale sort of taste like spinach? Uh, no. It's, uh... It's kind of a nice vegetable to eat. It's not, it's very harsh. It's not harsh like no, spinach. No, it's not like spinach. This is a vegan meal for sure. There's no, no uh, dairy, no animal products in here. No, we could, could we could add animal products. Well, we could that. add some uh, ham. <laughs> you think ham might be good if you wanted to eat ham or ham hocks or, or about turkey leg or something like that. A little bit of olive oil. Yes. Pretty good to go, and I'm going to add some garlic powder to this. Now I could add a half a clove of garlic. If you I could. You could add a, a two cloves of garlic, actually. Mmm. Cook these babies. All right. Now we're going to add our broth and our kale. Yeah, it's only about a cup of broth. And the amount of kale that you're putting is one kale plant or one It's bunch? a bunch. I just bought a bunch in the market. I would say maybe about, oh, I don't know, two cups, two to three cups of kale. This should take about five to eight minutes. Now, if it starts boiling a little bit, you know, we, we're going to also have corn for dinner. Mm -hmm. I think we can put the corn on top of it and just let it cook for a few minutes. But corn doesn't take very long to cook. Yeah, we could try that. This, this is going to be really an excellent meal with corn. Are you ready, Bob? I'm ready. I could add a little bit of water. Okay, and now you can put the one ear of corn for each of us. Push that down into the stew. All right. A little stew on top or something. Oh, that looks so yummy. Should be pretty good. All the flavors will come together. Okay. Another five minutes or so? Yeah. Okay. Bob, you've outdone yourself. This really looks good. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> For breakfast, we're going to have steel cut oatmeal, cut up apple, with brown sugar, jellied fruit, Raisins and coffee. I'm getting hungry. So, 
we actually add about half of the of the uh, of this in here. Yeah, about half. You can see the little rabbit that's running around. Oh yeah, I see him. Right he's, he's looking. He's, he's looking at us. He's wondering if um, he can have any of this to eat. You know, they like this stuff. <laughs> Oatmeal and apples. and apples. Little box of raisins. Nothing tastier than this. Now this is a hearty breakfast. It looks hearty. No wait till it cools. Is it that is it too hot? It looks hot. It is yummy, yummy, yummy for the tummy, tummy, tummy. Mmm. That rabbit over there would like it too. Oh the rabbit right over there? Yeah, see the rabbit. Yeah, I do. That looks good, Bob. What's for dinner? This is a farmhouse stew. Wow. What, what What's in it? It's uh, barley, kidney beans, diced tomatoes, carrots, celery. It's, I use a vegetable broth. Um, it's really a tasty soup. Very healthy. Mmm, that's good. Now, now you made this last week and froze it? Yes, I did. Yes. So. And then I'm going to make the bannock mix similar to pancake mix. And put the small pieces of apple into the bannock, cook the pancakes with olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Should be good. You have to say that because we're on camera. <laughs> no, he'll tell you the truth. He'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth once I taste it. <laughs> once he tastes it. You look, you like the breakfast. Yeah, the breakfast was wonderful, excellent. Okay, will you check the farmhouse stew? And I'll put the pancakes on. One, two, that stew really looks good. It smells good. You even want to taste the batter for the pancakes? Hey, taste it. Taste it. Let me just get my finger. You get your finger. That's okay. Mmm, tastes good. Okay. It passed the Bob test. These pancakes are getting ready. They're almost ready. Let's see. If turn this one over. There's a little brown on that one, isn't it? That one isn't. That, it's the way this last one should look. Mm -hmm. Is the way it should look. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we have farmhouse stew. That looks pretty good. Yeah. And the pancakes that we actually selected are not as brown as the ones that you saw cooking. And these look really good. And that'll be our dessert. Because raw honey with them is just spectacular. Persimmons. These are wild persimmons. I see a squirrel that has a mouthful of persimmons and he's going up the tree. <laughs> show you our campsite. It's really cool here. We're under a grove of persimmon trees along with pecans. It's done, Bob. I made my first pipe. That worked. You know, we see so many things at this campsite. It's just unbelievable. You know, we just saw a flock of turkeys. And Bob, you were the one who saw them first. 
Bob and I are walking down to the river, enjoying the adventure.